And Brother Spoke Mighty in the Spirit. Get a Brother Yashawana hand, man, and Brother Spoke Mighty in the Spirit. All right? So look, man, hey, we're going to continue to keep this show rocking and rolling through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh First and foremost, like always, we're going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, huh? I ain't going to be too long. All right, we're going to give all praise to the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Give me wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, all right? right from the top, man, all right? Give me wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, and you give me Proverbs 3 and 5, all right? All right? So what are we seeing out here, man? We're gonna keep this thing rocking and rolling. We're not out here to make no enemies with our own people. We're not out here to make no uh, uh, damn uh, uh, foes amongst our own people. But what we see out here is a lot of our people, okay, coming out here and combating us, right? They coming out here combating us. Give me uh, Isaiah 55 and six. Start that off, all right? right? So we out here teaching laws, statutes, and commandments. We teaching our brothers to come out here and come back to repentance. Right, to come, have our women come back. And yeah, the brother was right, to put some damn clothes on. Because last time we checked, 40,000 women of our own people have been lost or called missing because of coming out here and showing all their body, showing all their goods, showing who they are without no male leadership and without no husbands intact, man, right? So we coming out here to teach the actual true repentance of the Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanic man, Native American man, woman, a child, first and foremost, and we're coming to come back to your nationality. Read what you got, King. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Hey, the Bible says to seek the Most High while he may be found, right? Well, we had out here passing out these flyers, we passing out this good news, we passing out the actual gospel, and y'all walk up and down the street on Glenwood Avenue, on a Friday night having a good goddamn time here in Babylon, right? The Most High is saying to seek the Most High while he may be found. Y'all gotta wake up in these last days, right? It ain't too many times we gonna come out here and actually teach the gospel of the Most High God. Read it again, huh? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Hey, the Bible says to seek the Most High Yahweh while he may be found. But you know what? Our people are so busy on having a good time in America, right? Our people are so happy on having a good Friday night here in America. I told her sister earlier today, right tonight, and I hate America. And she could not believe what came out of my mouth, right? And I had to explain to her how America views her as a black woman or a black girl, right? How America views her ancestors, how America was established, how America maintains itself, off the black of the blood, sweat, and tears of our so-called black women. Right. And it wasn't that long ago, right, where a woman her age in the 1960s, the 1970s, would have hysterectomies because the so-called white men would go in our women and perform all types of uh, uh, damn surgeries, right, yeah. and experiments on our young women and cause them to be infertile, right? The Bible says to seek the most high while he may be found, brother. Brother, the Bible says seek the most high while he may be found. Right? But the, unfortunately, our brothers want to seek booty. Our men want to seek women. Our men want to seek adultery. Our men want to seek lasciviousness. Our, our men want to seek all types of whoredom instead of actually coming back to their not God-given laws, statutes, and commandments. You niggas are a damn shame here in America, man. Right. Our men have failed us, man. Our old men, our young men have failed us here in America, man. We don't, I. Call ye upon him while he may be near. While he is near. The most I said, call upon your Hawabashim Yahushad while he is near. Right? But instead, y'all want to call on whoredom. Y'all want to call on homosexuality. Y'all want to call on transgenderism. Y'all want to be so obsessed with money and the labors of this world and the fruits of this world that cannot save the so-called black man and the so-called black woman from annihilation. Your money can't save you. Your master's degree cannot save you, black woman. Your friends are going to turn you in when those race wars crack off. When the civil war best and believe the so-called black woman will be destroyed because you put your trust over here in Babylon. The black man has put his trust in being the so-called woman. The so-called black man wants to be a woman in these last days and have a demon all through his veins, man. 
right? Now he has the damn monkey pox. Now he has the HIV, right? Because you chose to be obedient. The Bible says the, the wages of sin is what? Is death, right? Now you're gonna have a slow death trying to put all the Travada all in your damn veins. You can put all the cocktails all in your veins, but that's not gonna stop that die slow. That's not gonna stop that Johnny juice. It's not gonna stop the proverbial HIV. Right now you got the full blown HIV because you want to burn in your own lust, like the brother brought out earlier, right? You want to replace the, the use of a woman with an actual man, right? Give me 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, huh? right? We got to understand what's going on over here in Babylon. Read what you got, Wisdom of Solomon 2. It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 1. Come on. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves. The ungodly reasons with themselves. You got Bible believers that reason with themselves. And you got people that say they believe in God and they reason with themselves, right? They actually talk themselves into coming out here on Glenwood and having no clothes on. They talk themselves to come out here in Glenwood and perform all types of matters of wickedness and abomination. Read on, King. Reasoning with themselves, but not a right. But not a right. Our, our people reason with themselves, but it's not right, brother. Do you know that? Our men actually reason with themselves on coming out here and committing adultery, right? But it's not right. Right? They come out here and reason with themselves on break the Sabbath day, but it's not right. You gotta come out this idea of you only live once. You only live once, but your life is gonna be dependent on where you end up in the afterlife. Where you end up when it's all said and done, and what is your obedience gonna tell you? Read on, huh? Our life is short. Your life is what? Short. Our life is what? Short. Our life is long. Short. We're gonna live forever. Short. You only live once. Short. Our life is short, man. Right. What are you gonna do with this short life, black man, black woman? You gonna come out here and party like it's 1990 damn nine? What? We don't have. Our life is short uh -huh. and tedious. And in the death of a man, there is no remedy. There is no remedy. Read on. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. Read on. Verse two. For we are born at all adventure, and we we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. And that's that spirit of you only live once. Right. I'm, I'm only going to live once. It's Friday night. I had a long work week. I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to have all types of unfilthy, filthy-ass sex, right? Filthy-ass lust. I'm going to feed into my flesh and try all types of drugs, all types of <coughs> matter of wickedness, perverseness, right? That's this idea that the black man has on his spirit these days, man. On Glenwood Avenue, telling everybody that they're gonna take care of him, right? That you have a belief in the Most High God. I got, I got news for you. You don't believe in God, you believe in yourself. You believe in your own ideology. You have your own laws, statutes, and commandments. We don't care. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the movement of our heart, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. And our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. You see that? But you got, I got news for you. The Most High has your works right. in remembrance. Give me, um, you got a precept? Now she want to pull him down. Come, bring it up. Okay. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 9. Come on, you know. Know ye not that the unrighteous. That's for what? The unrighteous. That's the unrighteous. That's for all you so called black, Hispanic, Native Americans that say you believe in Jesus Christ. Right. You say you believe in Jesus Christos. Right. right? You say you believe in a white Messiah. Right? But you don't have the fear of the Most High to actually repent. Right. God is your friend. That's what you go out here and believe. You believe that Jesus Christ is your homeboy. And you can go get beers with them over at the damn Cardinal somewhere. You can come over here at the damn Hibernian, right, and go crack a damn beer, a damn blue moon with Jesus Christ. Right? The Most High is not your friend. Jesus Christ is not your friend. Jesus Christ is actually your what? Your God. Your Adawan. Right? That is your Savior. Right? We don't, huh? That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh-huh. 
Be not deceived. Be not deceived, black man. Y'all are deceived out here. Okay, whatever. You deceive yourselves, and you're deceiving all types of women that are silly as hell to believe those damn lies. All these women that you come out here and lie to, you save all your rent money up, you save all your damn money up all week, your bill money, your cell phone money, you get your clothes on, but you put your nice cologne on, you do out here, you come out here, you, you smell good, and you deceive the people out here, man. You are in deception by coming out here and talking to these people, man. Read on, huh? If I do, Neither fornicators. Neither what? Neither fornicators. Hey, Glenwood is full of fornicators. Right. Glenwood is full of fornicators, man. Read on. Nor idolaters. Neither idolaters. A lot of y'all worship this damn white Messiah right here. A lot of y'all worship this damn white damn devil that has deceived so many people. So many people have been deceived by this damn white devil, right? He's just, he's conquered nations. He's conquered countries. He's conquered continents by this damn deceptive devil. Read on. Nor adulterers. Nor what? Adulterers. Uh, hey, look, Glenwood is full of adultery. A lot of adultery is going on tonight. A lot of women are stepping out of their marriages to step, step, sleep with men, right, that are adulterers. It's time to wake up, black man, and step out of the adultery, man. It's time for the black man to step away from adultery. It's time for the black woman to step away from adultery, right? To come back to your own black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, right? A lot of adultery, a lot of fornication, a lot of idolatry. What else? Nor effeminate. Nor what? Effeminate. Hey, the so-called black man has the highest level of effeminism going on right here in Raleigh, North Carolina, man. How many men we seen trying to be a damn woman? How many women we seen out here trying to be a damn man, right? But when it's time for that woman to be a damn woman, and have a man in her face, now she wanna be a woman, right? You, you niggas make me sick out here, the way y'all can morph in and out of genders like that, right? The black man, black woman has the ability to blend in and out of genders just like that. When it's convenient for them, she's a damn woman, right? But when a man get up in her face and show what a man really is, now she's a woman, right? Y'all gotta come up out of that spirit and have your woes and stick to your role, like The Rock said, know your role, man. Know your damn role, jabronis, right? Remember that? But now we wanna just, we wanna placate and have different roles. Well, I wanna be a woman this day, or I wanna be a man this day, right? But when it's time, when them proud, we was just talking about it with Yashu. Look, when them proud boys kick your door down, and there's two dykes playing strap on, right? And you got a stud, hey, them proud boys is gonna turn that stud straight. Right. Real quick, right? She gonna be pregnant real quick, right? right? It's time for the so-called black woman to come back to her man, to come back to her God and to come back to her king in these last days, right? Not you, right? Not you. You go ahead and you live in this kingdom because you only got a little bit of time. See, she's mad because the black man don't want her. That's probably the first time she's ever been rejected by a black man. But it ain't gonna be the last time, right? It's okay. It's okay because these words will soon come to pass. Read on. Nor abusers of themselves. Nor what? Abusers of themselves. All your drugs, all your fentanyl, all your damn crack cocaine, all your damn marijuana, all your damn weed, your black and mild, your blunts, right? Your Newports, right? You're drinking your damn lungs out, you're drinking your damn liver out, right? That's the abuser of themselves, man. All women abuse themselves by twerking here on Glenwood Avenue, right? Feet hurt, can't fit into her damn stilettos, but coming out here, want to show her damn body off. In the club, take the shoes off. In the car, take the shoes off, because her feet hurt. Abusing yourself, trying to look cute. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Meanwhile, the Hebrew Israelite woman is at home keeping a Sabbath day. The Hebrew Israelite woman is tending to the children. The Hebrew Israelite woman is keeping her Sabbath days, keeping her feast days and high holy days. The Hebrew Israelite woman is praying for her husbands to come out here and teach the word of the Most High God and praying for his security and safety through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? I can say that name and all women don't even know who that is. All men don't know who Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is. It's a damn shame. Right? Come back to your laws, statutes, and commandments. 
Because you're only kings on this earth with the potential to be king, but you have not tapped into your kingship yet. You, I can't call you king if you're walking down Glenwood bugged out of your damn mind. With a blunt. I can't call you king yet. You are up, but I cannot call you king yet. Right? We got to stop passing these crowns out to men that don't deserve them. Right? Read on. No abuses of themselves uh -huh. and mankind. Uh -huh. No thieves. No covetous. Uh -huh. No drunkards. No what? No drunkards. Hey, Greenwood is full of drunkards and thieves and covetousness, man. Men that covet other men's wives. Women that covet other women. Where is this world going to, man? Our forefathers would look down and be turning in their grave if they seen Glenwood Avenue. Could you imagine Zephaniah coming out here seeing Glenwood Avenue? Could you imagine Malachi? Imagine uh, uh, Ezekiel and, and Nehemiah coming out here seeing this. Hey, if Nehemiah came out here right now, right, he'll pluck your beard and he'll smack her across her damn face, man. Right? Read on, King. No revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Jehovah. You see that? You're not going to get. You're not going to get the kingdom of the Most High if you fit those characteristics and many more. Right? We are here teaching obedience. We are teaching actual law-abiding citizens. Can you be a law-abiding citizen to the Most High? Right? Or do you want to live your life on Glenwood Avenue and possibly die tonight? You going? You might. You might die tonight. And that's part of the thrill, right? We don't, huh? It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 4. Come on. And our name shall be forgotten in time, uh -huh. and no man shall have our works in remembrance. Hey, the Bible says that your works will be remembrance. Give me Revelation 20, verse uh, 11. Revelation 20, verse 11. We're going to prove that your works will be in remembrance. Yeah. The black man's works will be in remembrance. What did you do on September 9th, 2022? Were you out here acting a damn fool? Right. right? Or were you out here teaching the word of the most high? That's right. Right? We teaching about the works. Right? That's right. Read what you got. 20 and 11. Right. The book of Revelation, 20 and verse 11. Come on. And I saw a great white throne. A great what? A great white throne. It's a great white throne. Who's on that great white throne? Do you know? Okay, come on, listen to this. And him that sat on it, come on, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. Come on. And there was found no place for them. Come on. And I saw the dead, small and great. And we're seeing the dead right here on Glenwood, small and great. Right. We're seeing the dead in the valley of dry bones. You look alive. Yeah. You might have your cologne on. Yeah, you might have a good job. You might be drunk. You might be intoxicated. But you're dead in your spirit. You're dead. You're actually dead. The Bible says rich and small, dead. Right? Come listen to this. So like you. Uh, the small and great stand before God. They stand before the most high God, read. And the books were open. And the what? And the books were open. And the books were open, brother. You hear that? And another book was open. And another book was open. Which is the book of life. The book of what? The book of what life. Is book four and one? What is the book of life? We was going into it with Esau. Esau couldn't understand none of this. It was it was too high for a fool, man. The Bible says wisdom is too high for a fool. Give me book four and one. We're gonna come back. This is the book of Baruch, chapter four and verse one. Come on. No. This is the book of the commandments of God. What? The book of the commandments of God. What are we reading? The book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God. We're reading the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, Yahweh. Read. And the law. And the what? And the law. And the law. And the law. Come on. That endureth forever. How long? Forever. Forever. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. So what? Shall come to life. Come on. But such as leave it shall die. See that? A lot of y'all have lost the book of the commandments. We just read, this is the book of the commandments. All that read it shall come to life and shall live, brother. Right? You want to live, brother? Or you want to be dead out here on Glenwood Avenue? Let's go back to this, all right? And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. See that? 
the dead were judged out of the things that were written in the books, which is what? The book of the law, the book of life, versus your actual works. You see that? So when it says you're not going to be judged on works in the end, the Bible says that. The Bible says you're going to be judged by the book of the law weighted against your actual books or which is your works. Read on. According to their works. According to what? According to their works. According to your works. You will be judged according to your works, brother. Right? Is your works pleasing to the most high, brother? Do you believe your, that your works are pleasing to God, brother? Right? Not talking about your nine to five. I'm talking about what you actually do. Give me Exodus 18 and 20. Come on, bring it out. The book of Exodus, chapter 18 and verse 20. Come on. And thou shalt teach them ordinances. Ordinances. And laws. And laws. And shalt show them the way wherein they must walk. Uh -huh. And the work that they must do. And the what? And the work that they must do. So you got the way that they must walk and the work that they must do. What is the way? Give me Psalm 25. Right? What is the way? Do you know what the way is? What is the way? Say what? Come talk to us. Right? Read what you got. Psalm 25, start at verse 4. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 25, and verse 4. Show me thy ways. Thy ways. Show me thy ways. Come on. Oh Lord, teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth. In thy truth. Again, you see how the Bible is very harmonious? The truth goes back to Psalm 119, 142. The truth is the law. The way is the law. The works is the law. What about you, brother? Is your works pleasing to the Most High? Do you believe so? Come on, brother. You can't, you can't, you can't. You got to separate from Babylon. The only way you know that is because you actually migrated and, and integrated with Babylon. The only way the black man knows to hold, that, hold them signs up is because he really wants to be a white man. Right. He really wants to adapt the ways of, of, of Greek mythology, right? He wants to be a so-called white man, right? We don't we don't throw up like the black man naturally does not deal with the devil, right? Let me say that again. Naturally, black people do not deal with the devil. That is the white man's ideology. That is the white man's idea. His idealism, right? is to actually be like the damn devil. We don't I Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. All the day, we're gonna wait for the Most High God. You think about that, brother? You heard about that? Right? So we are teaching the truth. Unadulterated, I'm not gonna be too long. Man, we gotta go out there and really blaze it down. Mo mo hopefully tomorrow, uh, through the spirit of the house, I was shot 11 41. Hey, what about you, sis? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in God? Hey, the Bible said if you deny him, he's gonna deny you. So let's talk about it. Let's they don't deny the most high, right? You see that? Give me Proverbs 28 and 9, right? Give me Proverbs 28 and 9. Give me John, John 9 31. Give me, give me John 9, 31. You give me that in Proverbs. Proverbs. Chapter 28 and verse 9. Come on. He that turneth away his ear. And the Bible says he or she that turneth away his ear. Come on. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be abomination. You see that? So we got a, we got a lot of people that's going to be having a lot of abominable prayers in that day of the Lord. When, hey, hey, in the day of the Lord, it's going to be a lot of abominable prayers, man. Give me Isaiah 66 and 15. This is the book of John, chapter 9, and verse 31. Hey, this is this, this is this. Now we know that God hear not sinners. Hey, the Bible said that God does not hear the prayer of the sinners. So your pastor that has a sinner's prayer, it's not in the Bible, right? The, the, hey, the prayer for the sinner is, is found in Psalm 51, right? Right? The prayer of the sinner is Psalm 51, right? Just read all of that, right? That's the sinner's prayer. It's about repentance. It's about coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. It's not about staying in sin. It's not about staying a damn faggot, staying a damn homosexual, staying a damn lesbian. The
The Bible don't say that. The Bible says repent and be converted. We don't I. But if any man be a worshiper of God, any man actually believes in the most high God, Yahweh, and then if it's only be God and Son of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Right? If any man be a worshiper of these dude, of this brother, right? Read on. And doing his will. And doing his will. Well, the God out here says, come learn the will of the most high. Don't come out here and, and, and be a whore out here. Come back and understand what the will of the most high is. Read on. Him, he hear him. Hey, the most high hears the one that do the will of his father. The one that does the will of his father, that's the one that the most high hears. He does he doesn't hear the Edomites' prayer. Right? He doesn't hear the Ishmaelites' prayer. He doesn't hear the prayer of the two-thirds. Right? So when it's all said and done, and y'all out here crying for help, and y'all out here crying for some kind somebody to come and save us, right? The most high is not hearing that. He's asked why we opened up saying, listen and call upon the most high while he is near. We say call upon the Most High while He is near because there's going to be one point or another where He's not going to hear your prayer. I don't care what your grandma said. I don't care what your pastor says. Your pastor cannot contend his faith. Your pastor can't come out here and defend the faith. What about you, sis? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Right? Our women don't care. Our men don't care. They just want to just have a good time in America. Right? We just we trying to show you your nationality, right? This is why the men got to come out here. This is why God said the women can't teach. This is why a woman can't teach because the women cannot come out here and handle the spiritual warfare that we come up under week in and week out, right? We got to and the man has to come out here week in and week out and teach the spirit and teach the actual laws, statutes, and commandments. And the man has to come out here and actually be ready for any kind of conflict, any kind of combat. That may come our way, right? This is a this is a patrilineal male-dominated culture. All Eastern cultures is male-dominated. It's not till you come to America, good old sweet America, where the woman can usurp the authority of the man, right? Only in America, like Don King says, where the woman can actually tell her man to make her eggs in the morning, right? So you do the dishes, right? You come out here and you get my clothes ready. Right, this is my Sunday, nigga. Call you nigga, call you boy, right? They tell you when they when they want some. Hey man, we gotta come back and the man the black man gotta get his authority back, man. The black man gotta get his, his actual right. leadership right. back. Right, how do you get leadership, black man? What is leadership? Right? You can salute all day, but until you understand what we're talking about, you're not really saying anything. Alright? So again, at the end of the day, we just teaching obedience. We're teaching true repentance and true righteousness. What about you, sis? What's your nationality? Come here to the world. What's your nationality, sis? Right? That club ain't going nowhere. But your salvation is. Call upon him while he is near. Right? With that, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Most High. We say, call all, but now we are by Shema Mashiach, our side. As always, we're going to say death to America, man. Right? We're going to definitely say death to America. We say that emphatically. We say that with our spirit. We say that at the bottom of our belly, man. We say death to damn America. We say all praises. We say Kwam Yashallah. That is rise Israel. The so-called black, Hispanic, Native American man, woman, and child. It's time for y'all to rise in these last days because you will get left behind if you, if you continue to reach out to America. Kwam Yashallah. Oh,